A convicted sex offender just in court charged with sex crimes for dressing like a woman to gain access to a ladies' locker room at a local pool. 39-year-old Thomas Lee Benson was already in trouble for sex crimes when police say he used the disguise to get into the ladies' locker room at North Clackamas Aquatic Park nine days ago. He's charged with unlawful contact with children, being in a place where children are present, and attempted car theft. Benson remains in the Clackamas County Jail with his bail set at $100,000. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Deborah Nam. And I'm Brian Wood in tonight for Steve Dunn. K2's Tom Jensen is live at the Clackamas County Courthouse in Oregon City. And Tom, was anyone watching this guy to make sure he didn't harm another child? Not on a regular basis, just once a year. Now, we know that the original charge dates back 18 years when Benson targeted and sexually assaulted two little girls. But his sex offender notification is disturbing for any parent. But we learned this afternoon that he was not being supervised by a probation officer weekly or monthly. And even the people who lived right next door to him had no idea that this predator was right next door. This was the last known address for Thomas Lee Benson. I'm curious, uh, did Thomas Lee Benson live here with you? About eight months ago, yes. A current tenant says he's just now learning about the predator who targets little girls for his sex crimes. The family next door recognizes Benson's picture. He was living right next door here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody ever told you he was a convicted mm -hmm. sex offender? No, no, nobody ever told me. More of the same down the alley at a home with a lot more kids two who fit Benson's profile. Thomas Lee Benson? He didn't even know that he was living here. Here's what we've learned about this man even the state calls a predator. May 1993, he sexually abuses two girls, both under 10. Investigators say Benson uses money, toys, candy, and threats to control his victims. In 1994, Benson is convicted and sent to prison, but is released four years later. In 2007, he's arrested in Portland after he gets into the ladies' locker room at Mount Scott Pool dressed as a woman. Since he didn't actually touch any girls, he's sent to the county jail for just one year and gets no probation time after his release. That means until his recent arrest here in Clackamas County, Benson was not required to check in with anyone on a regular basis. No one was tracking his movements besides the annual sex offender registering something that Thomas Lee Benson failed to do in 2009 and again this year. More information that's hard to swallow for neighbors wondering why no one was watching this predator. That's bunch of shit, you know, that, that nobody told me. Because I got, a, I got my, my grandson and I got, a, I got my wife and my stepdaughter. Now, I requested records from the Department of Corrections and also Multnomah County as far as the 1994 conviction goes. And even though it went back so far, it appears that Benson has violated the terms of his release on that conviction several times, at least as far as uh, being, having to register with the sex offender registry, which he has not done at least three times that we're aware of. However, he has been able to avoid more jail time or prison time or even probation. We're hoping to learn why when we get copies of those records. We're live in Oregon City. Tom Jensen, K2 News.